50 millimeters has been kind of a special focal length throughout the history. Hi guys, my name is Matti Sulanto and I'm a photographer. And today I'm gonna take another photo walk here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And, and this time I have with me the brand new, relatively new Sony 50mm f1.4 G Master lens. And I'm very excited and I think I'm gonna shoot everything at f1.4 today because I don't own any f1.4 full frame lenses and now that I have one mounted on my camera I'm, I'm too tempted to shoot everything wide open. Well, maybe not, but I'm gonna embrace the low F numbers anyway today, be just because I can. Like I just hinted, this lens is not mine. This is on loan from my good friend Andrew, and he is one of the best known and best wedding photographers here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And he was so kind to let me have his uh, brand new lens for a photo walk. Thanks, Andrew. And please do check out his Instagram feed. I put a link down below for that. And if you want to book a wedding photographer, please don't hesitate to contact Andrew. He works internationally. He can fly everywhere in the world to uh, capture your unique weddings. millimeters is kind of a special focal length because it used to be the kit lens before zooms and it has been always considered as a lens that offers the most neutral most human-like view I don't know if that is true but uh, it is a very versatile focal length anyway it can be used for portraits, landscapes, street photography, and pretty much for everything. But I have never really learned to love, or I didn't use to love a 50 millimeter focal length up until lately. And I started my photography in sometime in 1970s, and I bought my first 50 millimeter lens only in 2008 after being a commercial photographer for about 25 years. However, I had the 50 millimeter equivalent or similar angle of view lenses for other formats like uh, Mamiya 6x7 and my Toyo 4x5 large format camera. But for a 35 millimeter camera or a digital full format camera, I um, bought my very first uh, 50 millimeter lens in 2008, pretty late in my photography career. The 50 has always felt a little bit tight to my taste outside of my commercial work, like my street photography, my documentary work, I have always preferred a 35 over a 50. But lately I have slowly learned to like a 50 and now I own the Sony 50mm f2.5 50mm G lens, which is a, a, like a smaller version of this and a modest, more modest maximum aperture, of course. So this is the brand new, recently released Sony 50mm f1.4 G Master lens. It looks kinda big on my camera, especially with the hood on, but in real life it's really well balanced on the Sony A7 Mark IV camera body and it does not feel heavy and uh, I could easily carry this lens all day long without feeling any strain or stress in my wrist or anywhere in my body. Very nice walk around lens too, if you need f1.4 on a regular basis. I'm sorry, 
durian is not to my taste. <laughs> yeah. The build quality feels really, really nice and it's weather sealed, of course. And the Sony aperture ring has to be the best in the business. It feels so good and the clicks are soft and uh, firm at the same time. It's a joy to click the apertures throughout the range. Too bad I don't want to do it today because I want to keep it close to its maximum aperture just because I can. autofocus feels blazingly fast and I think this has dual linear motors or something like that to make sure the autofocus is super quick in every situation and the expanded tracking spot focusing with continuous mode it works really well with every subject at least the every subject that I've been shooting this morning This is not a lens review and I don't intend to pixel peep my pictures too much. Besides, you will see the pictures before me because uh, I haven't seen these pictures on a big screen or on my computer yet. So I can't even fully assess the picture quality. However, based on what I see on the screen, the quality looks really, really good. It seems like the lens is really sharp, wide open. The bokeh looks smooth and clean and um, all in all, it looks like a really high quality lens and in some of the lens tests, people have even said that this lens is one of the best 50mm lenses ever made. Don't know about that, but it's, it looks really good or the pictures look really good. This kind of a fast 50 millimeter, fast aperture 50 millimeter has one advantage. You can create that uh, nice soft background even for half body or full body portraits without having to go too far from your subject. You can of course create the same kind of effect with a long lens even on a small format camera but this allows you to stay relatively close to your model which is sometimes nice when you are interacting with, uh, with your model and still be able to create a smooth and slightly soft background even for full body portraits. Excuse me, may I take a picture? Thank you so much. Let me show you. I ended up having a quite an interesting and lengthy conversation with that Chinese gentleman. And I think that's one of the things that you have to be willing to do if you take pe people's portraits on the street. If they'd like to chat with you, they'd like to know more about you, uh, more about your home country or whatever, you have to do that if they are willing to uh, let you take their portrait. I think it's only reasonable that you are also willing to chat with them a little bit after you took the picture. Thank you so much. In a recent comment, someone was asking if I share my street portraits with my models or my subjects. And I usually share if they ask me to share. And I know that is a little bit a tricky and awkward situation and question. I'd like to be able to share more, but uh, usually the situation is not really suitable for that. And I prefer not to share straight from my camera because I want to post-process my pictures to um, share the best quality I can. In some of my previous trips I've had a pocket printer with me and I used to take a, a phone picture and print that and share that with my models but uh, on this trip I don't have the printer and um, I'm considering whether I should go back to that uh, solution again. 
but I know um, it's a tricky question and uh, I probably should share every portrait with every uh, subject or model, but uh, sometimes those situations go past so quickly and uh, some of those people are, they are working, they have a situation going on, they don't have more time to interact with me other than say yes if I ask uh, for the portrait. So please do not judge me too hard, I do my best. You look so messy. Oh, you look, you look fine, you look always fine. <laughs> okay, let's go. Yeah. Let me let me show you. That was the maintenance guy in our residence where I live here in Kuala Lumpur. He's a, such a nice guy and he's been in our apartment a couple of times fixing our air conditioning unit. Yeah. yeah. Can I take a picture? Is that okay? Okay. I'll show you. Handsome. <laughs> Thank you. Like I already said in this video, this lens feels super nice on my A7 Mark IV camera body. However, it is still a lot bigger than my 50mm f2.5 lens. And since I don't actually need f1.4 in my street photography or my documentary work that I mostly do recently, I don't think I'm gonna buy this lens. Because if you buy this lens, you, uh, you will want to use the wide open aperture pretty much on a regular basis. And I'm sure Andrew, in his wedding work, he's gonna need this f1.4 because that blurry background is uh, a very good uh, asset in wedding photography. And as a matter of fact, he told me that a 50 millimeter is his favorite and most used lens in his wedding photography. So this is his bread and butter lens and it makes perfect sense for him to buy this lens because he uses this every day or not every day but in every wedding all the time. For me the price would be hard to justify because I would only want this lens because it's so good and it's so fun but I don't really need it for any of my photography at the moment at least. This is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed one more photo walk with me and the brand new Sony G Master 50mm f1.4 lens. If you found this video amusing, entertaining or whatever, please do consider buying me a cup of coffee. There's a link down below for that if you don't live in Finland. Thank you so much for walking with me and I'll see you in the next video.